Hello and welcome again. Um, in this video, I'm going to use the macro directive to uh, illustrate a recursive uh, function calling in assembly. In the previous video, we looked at the if else and uh, the macro directives, and we've seen how to set up a dot if dot else and dot and if to const construct an if else statement. And we also saw that we can use a dot macro and dot end m to uh, construct a macro. We also saw that we can pass values to the macro by declaring parameters after the name of the macro. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually define a macro and I'm going to call it, uh, or I'm going to make it call itself multiple times until a condition is met. Um, this is a common example to illustrate the macro. So I'm going to go ahead and do it for you. So to define a macro, like we said, we start with the word macro and we can give that macro a name. In this case, I'm gonna call it enum for enumeration and I'm going to give it two uh, values, uh, two parameters. The first one is called from and the second one is called to. So I'm going basically to, my goal is to enumerate from the from value to the to value. And I'm going to end it with the dot end. One thing I can uh, do here also uh, that I did not really uh, uh, say in the previous uh, video is that you can actually pass a value. You can hard code a, a value to the uh, to the macro itself. So let's say we want to go from zero to let's say the value six. So now the default values for these two parameters are uh, zero and six respectively. So what I want to do is I want to enumerate, and if you're familiar with enumeration, you basically go from uh, a number to a number and you go one at a time. So in this case, I'm going zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And basically I'm going to declare space in memory to save uh, these values um, in their own space. So to, to, to do that, we've learned that we can declare space in memory using the word directive. And I'm going to have the value of from, right? So let's say I stop here, I don't do anything else. What would happen? If I call this macro, it's going to execute dot word and zero, and then it will declare or initiate uh, zero, uh, the value of zero and put it in memory using four bytes. But I don't want to just do zero. I want to do zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So what I do is, I'm going to use the if directive and I want to make sure that I have not reached the end. So if the from minus the two, minus backslash two, basically if this is true, meaning if two minus from or, or the difference between two and from is not equal to zero, meaning that I did not reach the upper limit yet. If this is true, then I'm going to call enum again. One more time, I'm going to call the function back or the macro back one more time. But this, in this case, I'm going to pass the from plus one as a first parameter. So I'm gonna call it, but instead of starting from zero, I'm going to start from one, comma, the upper limit, which is the two or um, number six, right? Then I can end if, and I think that's it. So how does this work? Uh, this might be a little bit, uh, you know, everything is coming at the same time. So let me explain one, one more time. So if I don't have this if statement, I could have, uh, if I call the macro, so let's say I come down here and I just call enum. What's going to happen is the program is going to execute and it's, it's going to declare uh, or, uh, uh, occup uh, call this this function um, enum and then it's going to s uh, save the value zero in memory using four bytes because one word is four bytes but I don't want to just just do that I want actually to enumerate over this so I'm going to use the if else statement right so if the from has not reached the two if the subtraction between these two values is not zero I'm going to call enum again right and in this case, I'm going to call the function, but the bottom limit or the, the, the lower limit is 
from plus one. So on the next time I call the function, the lower limit will be one. So the function is going to come, is going to initiate uh, the value of or declare value of one in space using one word. And then I'm, it's going to come here, is going to evaluate is one minus six equal to zero. No, it is not. It is one. So it's going to call itself again. And in this case, it's going to go from two. So it's going to be two to six, and then three to six, and then four to six, five to six, and then eventually six to six. That's when it will not call itself anymore. In the meantime, every time it gets called, it's declaring a value in memory using the dot word directive to store that value using four bytes in memory. So let's compile and download this to our board. It looks we got some errors here. Um, unexpected end of oh okay so this is supposed to end m sorry end macro okay so let's try this one more time okay it is downloaded to the board let's uh, step through it so the first instruction that is executing is the enum and it's going to go <coughs> and call itself, so we can iterate through it. Oh, and then eventually it stops and it went to the next instruction. So uh, if we explore the memory content, uh, we will see that um, we started declaring space in memory or declaring values in memory. And this is my zero, this is my one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then it no longer declares um, values in memory. Now, again, the assembler is smart, so it's not going to uh, dynamically do this as a program is running. So what happens most likely is the instructions have been replaced. Um, since this is going, going to call itself seven times or six times plus the first time, so it's going, it's going to declare dot word zero, dot word one, dot word two, dot word three, dot word four, dot word five, and dot word six. Uh, the assembler automatically knows that and it replaces that dot enum function or macro with these four values or six, seven values, right? The dot word zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So um, there you have it. Uh, now we could, uh, you know, I, uh, we went over how to use a macro to do a recursive uh, call um, in assembly. Uh, I hope you uh, learned uh, how to use it that way. And you enjoyed this video. And as always, have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video.